we got involved uh, through a relationship with the Center City District in 2011. It's been a long process so far. Uh, you know, the uh, ownership of the land has been a, uh, an issue. Um, raising the funds to develop any kind of significant public space in Philadelphia is uh, always a challenge. Things that we're uh, still working through and hopefully we're uh, about there. The process for the design was kind of undertaken in collaboration with the community in a way that we typically do with a lot of public work. It's really building off of the steel structure that we're working on. The pallet of materials is largely uh, steel, big giant timbers, and a gravel base. You know. I think the hope is when it's done, it doesn't look a whole lot different than it does now, um, which is a weird thing. You know, We go through a pretty substantial uh, construction project to turn it back into what it is right now. Uh, with the additional amenities of uh, places to sit, uh, places to congregate, uh, uh, opportunities for people to, to gather in small groups or larger groups. The planting scheme is really based on a pretty rough and rugged palette of native materials. So it's a simple palette. It's not intended to be seen as a, a public garden, uh, say, in the way the High Line is. The vision for this is a uh, broader swath of uh, pretty simple plantings. So the history of the city branch and the Reading Viaduct is something that um, is really important and central to the vision. Um, we think that telling the public history of the former rail lines and their impact and importance in the development of Philadelphia as a city um, is a big opportunity, something that we would like to feature as a part of the project. So right now we're standing, walking on um, a portion of the city branch, which was at one time, uh, you know, it was a lifeline of, of a industrial district that was one of the most heavily industrialized corridors in the world. It was, ceased operating as an industrial freight line uh, in the mid 90s. Um, and it's just, you know, kind of been sitting growing a wild landscape since then. So there are cities around the country, obviously, that want to do something like the High Line. Right. So for cities that are beginning that process, what advice do you have as someone who has been doing this for many years and has a project that seems pretty close to breaking ground? Uh, well, I would say that our project, like many of the others, began as a very grassroots effort. You know, just people who live near the viaduct um, sharing the experience with other people and gradually building a buzz. I think that's really important to begin at that level and work up to, you know, building political support, um, getting the city's support is critical. Uh, and that's kind of the, the process that this project has gone through so far.